Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. This. What are the steps to find absolute extrema of a function on a closed interval? We need to find... Why do we need to find f prime? Okay, we use f prime to find the critical numbers, right? Okay, and then we evaluate, let's say the critical number is c. We find f of c, and then we also find f of the endpoints, right? a and b usually, if we're talking about an interval from a to b. We find f of a, we find f of b. That's the bare bones what we have to actually do, but there are a couple things you need to be keeping in mind. Number one, the function has to be continuous on that interval for this to work. And number two, that C, that critical value, critical number, has to be in the interval. So you gotta kinda keep that in the back of your mind, yeah. All right, so in any case, uh, let's see, what's F prime? F prime of X is going to be three times two thirds X to the negative one third minus two. So f prime of x is equal to, I'm going to write this as 2 over the cubed root of x, just so I, I don't know, I feel, I feel like I kind of understand it better that way. So I know where the pitfalls are with this, meaning that we want to know not only where is this equal to 0, but we also need to think about where it's undefined, right? So. For me, having it in this format of 2 over the cubed root of x minus 2 makes, helps me know what to look for. Okay, so let's, but let's find where it's equal to 0 first. So what would I do first? Move the 2, multiply by cubed root of x, right? 2 cubed roots of x equals, so the cubed root of x is equal to 1. Oh, we can cube both sides, right? So 1. Okay, so it looks like the only um, place where the derivative is zero is actually at an endpoint of this interval, which is fine. And then what about where is it undefined? Yeah, the only way that this expression is going to be undefined is if the denominator is equal to zero. So that's good, though, that you're thinking, is that in the interval? It, it, it is in the interval, so we are going to need to check that. So we have two critical values to check. So we're going to check f of 0, f of 1, and then the other endpoint, f of negative 1. So what, plugging back into the original function, 3 times 0 to the 2 thirds minus 2 times 0 is 0. f of 1. So f of 1 is 3 times 1 to the 2 thirds minus 2 times 1. So that's just going to be 1. And then f of negative 1 is going to be 3 times negative 1 to the 2 thirds minus 2 times negative 1, which is going to be, let's see, this is positive, so 3 plus 2 is 5. On your calculator, it will mislead you if you do not have parentheses around the negative 1. Mm -hmm. All right, so answer. What's the answer? Find the absolute extrema. What's the absolute max? f of negative 1 equals 5. What's the absolute min? f of 0 equals 0. And we're done. Yes. Because you remember when we learned that peaks and valleys can happen where the slope is 0 or where it's undefined. If you have a, val a peak that looks like a nice smooth hill, you get a slope of 0. But when you have a sharp point, you get an undefined slope. The derivative is undefined. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it.